so in today's video i will be discussing the medications that i am taking or that has been prescribed for me before the treatment of lupus so these were given after being diagnosed with lupus so i want to start out by dealing with the ones that i have to use on my face all right so you know that when it comes on to persons with lupus the sunlight is a problem so we cannot be exposed to too much sunlight as that will irritate our skin and cause other problems so i was prescribed sunscreen any brand of sunscreen it doesn't matter as long as it is spf 60 and over preferably 90 the stronger it is the better so i told my rheumatologist that i already have sunscreen because i started using them um since 2023 and so this is the one that i'm currently using now the CeraVe and this is SPF 30 so she said okay continue to use it until that is finished and when it is finished then you go and purchase the stronger one so yeah i've been using this and it has been doing the job quite well yeah the next prescription that i got in terms of what i should use on my face is what is known as a dermovate so this is a cream this is the dermovate cream yeah So the Dermovate cream is what is given in the event that rashes appear on my face. All right. So I think at my second visit, she prescribed this. But the thing is, I, I haven't seen any reason to use it because I have not seen any rashes appear on my face and so mm -mm. I don't want to start using something for which there's nothing and then cause problems in my face right, so it has this clear look it's not white it has this clear look so that is what it looks like smell real horrible though smell bad man don't like the scent of it but i guess it will do the job mm. don't like it smell at all yeah so mm. that's that so that will be used to help with rashes if and when they appear and i do hope they do not appear the only issue that i have with my face and i think it has been evident since august of this year 2024 after standing in front of my mirror and deeply analyzing my face i realized that right here there's a spot and that spot is much lighter than the rest of my face and one is somewhere here and the other one is somewhere here so they are light spots so if somebody's not really looking into your face deeply they they will not notice that it is there because i even asked my family and they have to really deeply look to actually see it all right so when it comes on to pills i have several of those that i have to take daily 
all right and the first one that i want to talk about or mention it's a what circular it? white peel so it looks like this so it's this small all right and I have to take two of those and let me tell you it's one of the most bitter pills that I ever had to take it's it's horrible so when I'm taking them since of late because I found out how, how bitter they are I don't take it alone I mix it with at least one or two other pills that I am taking to eradicate the bitterness of it all right and this is used to reduce the inflammation in my body and as I remember mentioning in previous videos my ESR level was at I think 105 and after taking the upper prednisone for the first month of the rheumatologist prescribing it to me, my inflammation went down to 82. So I know it has been working. And that, that was from that blood work. And no, I don't know where it is because we have not tested um lately esr level so yes mm -hmm. another one is the what is this one called no as the pan pure yeah so this is what the container looks like so and this i actually take for my stomach all right because of the many pills that I am taking and the acid level in some of them especially the painkiller yes this is used to reduce the level of high acidity on my stomach all right but since of lately especially this week I no starting since two weeks ago yes so this week at work I have had three episodes of stomach issues um I've been at work at my desk eating lunch and my stomach felt as if it was going to explode I just had to stop eating what I am eating for a while and just try to drink something or eat something else to see if the feeling would go away because I felt like I wanted to vomit. And the worst of the three days, <laughs> the nausea was so bad that I wanted to vomit so bad that I had a plastic bag on my desk and I was like this feels like it's coming right now and I was also praying and asking the Lord please Lord don't let it come I'm in the I'm, I'm amongst my colleagues I don't want to throw up here at work and then it's lunchtime people are eating I don't want them to be disgusted and so i was there and i remember because i started to drink water i'd started to drink some more of the juice i had with me none of those two things were helping and i remember that i had some leftover coffee from the breakfast i had because I, I i brought my tea to work as i was in a rush so i had breakfast at, at school and uh, I, I drank a little bit of it nothing happened and I said let me continue and I drank a little more and then I felt my stomach start feeling a little bit better and I, I think I drank four times and I felt my stomach um, calming down and I said 
thank you Jesus because I really didn't want to throw up or vomit at school it's, it's just not one of those environments if I was at home now come vomit me up me with me with deal with you because I'm at home and I feel more comfortable at home so I was just glad that part was 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 over with worse stomach pressure for that week and then the week before that I was experiencing serious stomach issues I vomited at home so badly so badly oh I was so stressed out and weak out when me tell us while vomiting i have to have the fan with me to gain a little bit of strength if that fan never did near me me would have passed out because there were several times while i was vomiting i just felt like i'm going to just spread out and that's it and may i pray and may i talk to god and may i beg him lord jesus don't let me be in this state right now i don't want i don't want to faint away please keep me <sighs> jesus i had to be holding on to things before during and after vomiting it was one of the worst vomiting experience because I've, I've had those experiences already es especially since taking these medication because that is one of the side effects side effect of tea of um taking some of these medications ah when i done i have to just go lie down in another bed because another another effect of these medication is that um they may cause diarrhea and i've had a few of those as well yes and even while making this video i am not at work i may look well on camera but oh mm, if only you could see my emotions see my feelings just see me away from where i am right now i am so weak and battered Ugh. and I, I just said i just I, i'm gonna try and do this video if i'm supposed to walk one two minutes long it's hard it's very hard when i came in from work yesterday i could not do anything i i went to bed pretty early and that's all i did i slept because that was the only thing that could calm my pain. I was in so much pain from my head to my toe. Oh gosh, it, it, it was hard. It's, it is still hard. I thought I would not have made it throughout the day at work yesterday. But God helped me. And coming home, that was it. Everything in me just crash. It just crashed. So, yes, I have life and I am still grateful. So, while I'm battling my lupus and what comes with it on a daily basis, because the thing is, you never know when you're going to have a flare. You can be going on throughout your day quite fine and boom it hits you yeah so moving on to the next pill that i have to take is a pain pill known as the diclodenc 50. this is what the container looks like for the diclo 
diaper than 50 all right and this is what it actually looks like so it's brown in color right and this i actually take for it it helps to reduce the pain the inflammation so that particular one was given because it helps to reduce stiffness and tenderness of the body especially your arms and your feet when you're trying to get up in the mornings and i have seen where it it has been working because there are some mornings that i can get up within five minutes to go and do what i have to do as opposed to other mornings whereas it may take me 10 or more minutes to get up out of bed so yes it it, it, it has been working good days bad days and it depends on how stressed or how fatigue i am yeah so i'll have better days than others with these um medication so the next one that i want to look into is what is called vitamin d no this is something that all of us are supposed to get from our natural sunlight but some of us like lupus patients we can't get all the vitamin d from the sunlight because it is something that affects us all right and it is something that will activate the rashes on our skin and so we have to try as much as possible to avoid penetrating sunlight and so because of that I was prescribed vitamin D yes so yeah so vitamin D tablet that is what I take to increase my levels of vitamin D within my system all right yeah and then another one is fish oil all right so these fish oil are also good for inflammation and joint pain and all of that yeah so I have to also take fish oil and I also take this calcium pill mm -hmm. so all of these are to help with um, the issues in my body and the last thing I take is my one a day woman multivitamin tablet or pill all right so amongst everything else that i've been prescribed by the rheumatologist this wasn't this this i have been taking before so i continue to take this um, multivitamin along with the other pills that pills and cream that have been given to me except the dermovate because i have not seen any rash appearing on my skin for me to use that all right and so yeah so i have already eaten and another point is i take my pills in the morning because compared to other persons out there in the world with different conditions this is minimal to what a lot of persons have to take because in total three four five six seven it's seven pills all right and that's not compared to a lot of persons but to me it's a lot all right so yes so i have already i have already taken the dicla the name again the dicla then for my stomach all right and so i'll be taking the other ones that i normally take 
so when I'm taking them I mix and I'm taking all the tablets I mix the apple prednisone with the pan pure and the vitamin D so I put them all together drank those drank some water then I start off with my calcium vitamin D and the gigantor fish oil yes so that is what i do if i don't take them at home i'll take them at work so it depends because there are some mornings when i definitely cannot have breakfast at home because i'm just not in the breakfast mood all right and i'll walk with my breakfast so i'll have it at work and that helps because if 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 i am supposed to take the diclodane first thing before i eat breakfast in the morning and it says breakfast so this particular medication must be taken before breakfast so i take it before breakfast and then in a few minutes to half an hour i have the the breakfast and then when i'm through with the breakfast i have the rest of the pills yeah so those are the current medications that i am taking before the actual treatment of lupus so i am yet to start that treatment and i've mentioned why in previous videos so yeah you can check those videos out to see what has been happening mm -hmm. i i want to mention also that um these medications that i am taking may vary from country to country and it may vary from rheumatologist to rheumatologist and also it may vary depending on how far gone your lupus is so whether it is mild or severe that depends on what they'll prescribe to you before the actual um, treatment all right so yes it depends it depends depends on what your blood work shows and the diagnosis given by your rheumatologist because they'll tell you whether or not it's mild or severe and uh, i believe that mine mine was diagnosed before it's in its worst case because it's not severe 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 it's mild and i'm thankful for that so yeah so thankful and i am looking forward to better days once treatment have started and once treatment have started it doesn't mean that I am not going to experience flares it's just that it's going to be reduced and would be able for me to function a little bit better all right and so i just want to take it in strides take it daily just allow you know god to 
strengthen me on a daily basis so that I can be able to just deal with it daily because I can't deal with it 30 days ahead because I don't know what is ahead I have to just deal with it on a daily basis as it comes so all the persons out there who have been diagnosed with lupus and have been going through it for years and those that are newly diagnosed I must say that you know I'm not I'm not angry because the words of God that I have been taught it soothes my mind it comforts me because I know that God is able and I also know that not because I am saved, I am a child of God and I'm striving to live a holy life pleasing unto him. That doesn't mean that sickness cannot happen to me. Who am I to say that sickness cannot happen to me and shouldn't happen to me? Am I this good? No, there is none good but one. I am full of error and it just proved to me that I need to trust God because he's the author and the finisher of my faith. He alone knows my beginning of days and my ending of days. So him know when me go take my last breath. So, sickness, I just have to ensure that my soul is right with God. And that is what is most important right now. Not even this flesh. Because when this flesh fades away, my soul remains. And what will become of my soul after this flesh dies?